What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about some very interesting news regarding Pirates of the Caribbean. So last we talked, the Margot Robbie movie was canceled. At least that's how she put it. But there was an interview with Jerry Bruckheimer on Collider where he said two different things. Number one is that her movie is more like shelved. It's something that was kind of put aside, and maybe it'll come back in the future, okay? That was, now that's something we'll talk about, obviously, in a second, but it's not going to be anything necessarily new. Second thing, though, is, and I'll read his exact words because, oh boy, it's a little interesting here. We developed two different stories for pirates and the other ones going forward first. So that's what we're working on to try to get that one made. And that's why Margot's is pushed aside. So... Look, it's been rumored for a long time, and originally the story was, remember, there was Pirate 6, right? And, like, Ted Elliott was coming back, and the original rumor was that there was basically two different scripts for what seemed to be Pirates of the Caribbean 6. One with Jack Sparrow in it, and one without. Now, that rumor was is a rumor, right? So hard to kind of dissect it. And then when the Margot Robbie one kind of came out, we had still heard roughly the same thing, that basically... There was a Margot Robbie movie happening, and then there was also still Pirate 6, and the Johnny Depp stuff was kind of up in the air, and this was because it was before the trial back in, you know, April, May, that range, right? So now, Jerry Bruckheimer comes back, and, you know, we don't necessarily hear about the script, but now it's stories. There were two different stories that they were working on, and one of them is moving forward. So, a couple of things to read from that. Number one we're still getting a Pirates of the Caribbean project, and I imagine it would be a movie. Jerry Bruckheimer has always been pretty hell-bent on, like, it's it's a movie franchise, not a TV show. I think it could still, we talked about this before, I think a, a Disney Plus TV show would actually work for, like, a Barbosa prequel or Davy Jones prequel or Jack Sparrow prequel, actually a lot of things, but even spinoffs with Will and Elizabeth or Karina and Henry, you could do a lot with Disney Plus, truly. Jerry Brockheimer seems like he doesn't want to do it. That's fine. So then it's only movies. Well, all right. Well, what's this other project? Well, the only thing really that it could be is Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Because the rumor that has stayed consistent kind of the entire time is there is a Pirates of the Caribbean 6 that is happening, right? And whether it's with Johnny Depp or not remains to be seen. So considering he says there's two projects, it's not the Margot Robbie one. It's a, it's, it's a different one. What could that mean? I do think it's Pirate 6. So the good news is that means a, a movie is moving forward. And um, and I guess another thing you could read into it, right, is, well, why would Margot Robbie's movie be shelved? Well, what has happened recently since the last time she talked about it? Now, she's talked about it quite a while ago, and this was before Jerry Bruckheimer talked back, I think, in May about, you know, alternate scripts and stuff. But, you know, she talked about this stuff when the Johnny Depp stuff was way more like, you know, toxic, he's very bad, we can't have him attached, all that stuff. So what's changed between when she announced the movie and then when she said that they basically scrapped it, stuff with him has changed, right? Now again, and we've and I've talked about it, uh, I, I know I'll, go, I'll get comments every now and then on these videos of, you know, Johnny Depp has said he wouldn't do it for basically all the money in the world. I get that. I've always said, I've, I've said a couple of things. I've said, if he were to be offered the role, and he refuses it, and he says, hey, you know, F you, you know, you screwed me out of this, you, uh, you know, you were some of the worst people in my life, when I needed people to back me, you weren't there, so I'm not doing it, right, get lost, I would completely respect him for doing that, on the other side, money talks, now I'm not saying like money dictates his, uh, his entire life, but money does talk, and also apologies talk, right, Jerry Bruckheimer has always been his corner. If he can get apologies from the right people, if that's what he's looking for or whatever, maybe it happens. Maybe it happens. So, look, I'm always going to hold out hope. I would also say, based off of, again, if you take a few steps back and you say, well, they can never do a Margot Robbie movie, at least right now. You got to do a movie with Johnny Depp because I really don't think, and, and, you know, we've talked about Margot Robbie's, but any movie, any Pirates of the Caribbean project right now that's not Johnny Depp related to end Jack Sparrow in a proper send-off, right, farewell kind of way, any movie or TV show that comes before that will not work. I think people will honestly reject it. I would reject it. And, you know, that's just, I think, the case. So if you're not going to do Margot's and you're going to do something else, well, what does that something kind of have to be? Well, if it was something else, if it was another spinoff, if it was Pirate 6 without Johnny Depp, wouldn't you kind of have the same mentality where it's like, well, why did you cancel Margot Robbie's movie? To be fair, you probably didn't move forward with that because you're afraid of it bombing, which it would. It would. It would absolutely fail. 
So why would you move forward with another project that, you know, equally would have the same reaction? Does that make sense? It is reading into it a bit, but I, I actually don't think it is because just of all the scenarios I just kind of played out, I think the only path forward for Pirates is to say goodbye to Jack Sparrow in a, in a good way, give him one final movie, and then you can do this stuff. So in order, it would be that, and then you could do Margot's. You know, so now, we've talked about her before. I would want anybody but her connected to it. Also, the Birds of Prey writer, no thank you, but specifically Margot. Not because I think she's an evil person, not because I, don't, I think she's a bad actress. I, th I actually think she's pretty good. But of course, you know what she said about Pirates of the Caribbean. There are no strong characters, no strong female characters that Pirates has ever had. Clearly, Calypso, Elizabeth, Karina, you know, all of the Angelica, clearly all these characters never existed. Um, but what it really means is Margot Robbie never watched these movies and, and she's just kind of making it up on the fly. That's what I don't like about her. And that's why I never want to see her touch Pirates movie, whether it's before or after Johnny Depp. But Great news. I would say overall really great news. Hopefully we can still get a gosh darn Pirates of the Caribbean film and hopefully it's got Johnny Depp in it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I'll see you all on the next one.